Why am I the only one in my class who doesn't own a cell phone? Why don't you purchase one? You know that I am just a student and that I don't have money. Then why don't you canvas? You'll be doing God's work and earning money. Luana was 15 years old when she considered her father's advice to canvas. At the end of her campaign, she was finally able to purchase her first cell phone after tithing and giving promise, a percentage-based regular and systematic offering from all her income. The following year, she canvassed again, earning enough to pay for her expenses, returning God's part, and still saving some money. One day, her father was thinking about how to give her the best financial education. So he said, Hey Luana, why don't you open a savings account to earn some interest from the money you have? But I no longer have that money. What? What do you mean? How did you spend all that money? Well, last Sabbath, the pastor told us that they launched a plan to renovate the church and ask those whose hearts were touched by God to give a free will offering, an offering of sacrifice, in addition to their tithe and promise. After praying, I decided that if you suggested that I open a savings account, this would be the sign that I should invest all the money into the church's renovation. So from now on, I no longer have that money. The Word of God invites us to regularly return tithes and give promise. But in addition to that, we may occasionally receive a call from the Holy Spirit to give also free will offerings. Ellen G. White says that, that which you bestow in the cause of God is not lost. Instead, these resources are gaining continually in value and will be registered to your account in the kingdom of heaven. Then she adds that you are to be recipients of the eternal wealth and all that you lay up above is secure from disaster and loss and is increasing to an eternal and enduring substance. Let us ask the Lord to make us sensitive to His voice when He calls us to deny self and sacrifice for the advancement of His kingdom. May we put our desires last and God first.